Oh, tea life hacker, tea Welcome to our 500 plus 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 subscribers. That's right, that's you guys. Thank you guys so much for growing this channel. This is amazing. And to you new subscribers, just gotta make sure you see my wink going on here. That's right, I'm winking at you guys. Welcome new subscribers <laughs> to the channel of occupational therapy positivity and occupational therapy life hacks which are life hacks for daily activities to enhance the quality of life in everything you do so what are you here for today what is today's occupational therapy life hack what did you click on this video for mindfulness and meditation that's right guys so if you're wondering how the heck am i so peppy and happy like this all the time mindfulness meditation but that's just a side effect no just kidding <laughs> that's just how i am one of the perks of mindfulness is that it will help you become so much more of yourself because there's less to worry about and more to focus on every the every moment oh, gosh i'm so excited to talk about this so let's get into it why practice mindfulness or mindfulness meditation in everything you do every day well everything you need to know about mindfulness in five minutes guys that's right we're gonna go for the record of five minutes because you know this girl can talk forever because she loves talking to you guys it's true so we're gonna break it down um, all of it in five minutes now let's get started with what is mindfulness mindfulness is being aware of what is around you and that includes everything from inside yourself and outside yourself in the present moment. Basically, it means what are you sensing and what are you feeling? How are you interacting with what's going around in your environment now? And the way that I like to see it is act in the moment, but not by a script, not a scripted response. And we'll go more into why I'm saying this how to practice mindfulness there's many strategies some are breathing mindful breathing meditation body scans which are kind of focusing on one part of your body at a time looking at the sensations you feel which can be very helpful in identifying when you're feeling anxiety or stress or some sort of um, negative feeling or not feeling right because Many times we don't know why we're feeling, um, we don't know when we're feeling stressed or, or anxiety. So what helps is to focus in on our body and feel um, if there's any pain or any like shortness of breath or any fidgetiness or any, anything in our body, dry throat, whatever. Because that can be an indication that we're feeling stressed or we're not feeling right at that time. And it helps us understand why. And guided imagery. So all these are great relaxation techniques and I'll put resources in the links below, I mean in the description box for you to navigate to and try out for yourself. Now the biggest piece to mindfulness is you're focusing, paying attention to the present moment, which is the now, that's right, now, N-O-W, now, without judgment. So what is meditation? Meditation is exploring the inner workings of our mind by focusing intently on that. And again, you're not making judgments about how you're feeling. You are instead having love and compassion and unconditional love, might I add, for what you are experiencing. The purpose of mindfulness is to relax the mind and body and I'd like to add is to enhance the moment enhance whatever it is you are doing whatever activities you are doing leisure productivity work sleep enhance that make it even more of a quality um, more give it more quality and benefits so there's so many benefits and of course I said I'm summarizing it so summary of it in a holistic standpoint holistically is mentally you have more of a positive state of mind and you can have greater focus, attention, decision-making capacity, better judgment, thinking, memory, creative juices flowing. And of course, 
emotionally, you're reducing the stress, depression, anxiety, and increasing the positive mood, outlook on life, and resilience. Now, I have a video on resilience for mindfulness. Check that out. I'll put it in the, the description box below. And socially, increasing the quality and satisfaction of relationships, having compassion and forgiveness for others, empathy and patience. Now, if you are a healthcare worker or in any industry that you work, this can be really good when working with people, building your empathy and compassion for the people you work with. Physically, increase healthy habits, stronger immune system, better sleep quality, as I mentioned, and spiritually, create a sense of calmness and peace increase your intuition and inner wisdom and increase your connection to beliefs that you may have all right so that's it guys that's right that was how long was that oh shoot that's five minutes 55 seconds okay i'm sorry we'll, we'll say that the one minute was for the intro so that doesn't count right <laughs> all right so guys thank you for watching this video and please do like and subscribe and it is so Awesome again, congratulations to us, the OT Life Hacker channel for our 500 plus 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 subscribers. Can't wait till we are over a thousand. Woohoo! See you guys later. Bye bye.